State University Fresno and its construction management program. In the past two years, our program went through significant curriculum changes. The revised curriculum features hands-on experience on sustainable construction. As a result, um, service learning has become an integral component of three core courses, all at different levels, freshman, sophomore, and senior. Each course requires a minimum of 20 hours of service learning related to construction activities. In the fall of 2012, as part of the Southern California Gas Energy Efficiency and Education Initiative, the CSU Center for Community Engagement awarded me a grant to um, develop a collaborative learning community. Um, this community um, includes the CM faculty members, um, the university service learning staff, our students, and the community partners we work with. So the goal is to enhance the quality of service learning with an emphasis on energy efficiency and conservation. In this past semester, we worked with four community partners. They were Self-Help Enterprises, Grid Alternatives, Stone Soup, and Fund Fresno Urban Neighborhood Development Corporation. Members from this learning community met monthly throughout the semester to um, make continuous improvements on our course contents and um, service learning project activities. As a result, our students were provided with a better learning experience. In fact, students in my class, most of them uh, completed 30 hours of service learning instead of 20, which is 50% more than what they were requested to do. In this video, you will see our students were involved in a wide range of um, projects provided by our community partners in the spring 2013. My name is Ryan Johnson. Um, basically, our project is to uh, change over the, the windows to uh, new uh, energy efficient windows and we're building two foot stem walls. Um, we get a lot of volunteers on Saturdays and I try to accommodate time for students during the week as well. Uh, so primarily we've been uh, working um, on the old police building and then on the weekends we try to do the first five and then the administrative building so we don't interfere uh, during the week. It's been a really good project. So far we've installed 33 of the 75 windows and uh, it's already been beneficial to the, uh, to the stone soup because they haven't had to run any air conditioning. Uh, they get fresh air blowing through because the old style windows you can open. And so it's been a good uh, project so far. So for our volunteers, we have different levels of ability uh, from the beginning, uh, never really touched a hammer or uh, used a caulking gun, uh, to some very experienced um, volunteers. So, Kind of the ability level of the volunteers ranges uh, across the, the, the whole spectrum. Uh, we kind of break things up as soon as I've had some volunteers out at least once. They kind of have an idea of the way things go. So we try to create like a team. Um, so I kind of have a stem wall production team, a demolition team, uh, and a window installation team, and a finish team. Um, a lot of the project is done uh, with teamwork. So uh, we try to incorporate that in just about every type of activity that we have.
we've been volunteering our hours out here at FUN, it stands for uh, Fresno Urban Neighborhood Development. Basically, they've taken this house uh, for a veteran, World War II, and uh, completely redid it. Today, uh, as you can see, we've put the hardware on the uh, cabinet. So painted some of the baseboards today. Uh, I'm here with Fund uh, from Fresno State. We're mostly just helping out the Vietnam vet by giving him a better re redoing his house. Uh, a lot of the work we've done, we put a fence up around here, brand new. Uh, exposed prior, there's no separation. Uh, put a little seating area here with the feet up. Nice add to the front yard. Um, as as a group, uh, we had probably about eight, nine guys out here help laying out sod. Putting a front on here is previously just dirt. Uh, right around here, we're putting a flagpole up here uh, with the American flag, uh, just to show everyone kind of what he's done and what he's done for our country. My name is Alicia Bohemian. I'm with Grid Alternatives, a solar nonprofit organization. Grid Alternatives has developed a partnership with Fresno State to conduct an energy efficiency project in cooperation with the construction management students. The goal was to help homeowners with their energy bill and to educate them about being energy conscientious. We chose six families from the Fowler Ashland subdivision of, of South Powell. The students completed an energy audit where we're able to take a look at appliances, water heater, lighting, and thermostat settings, as well as energy use habits. The CM students also conducted extensive research on how to enhance our existing energy efficiency workshop, as well as presented the information to the entire subdivision. After completing the project, the feedback that we received from the homeowners was very positive. They felt that they had learned ways on how to reduce their energy cost as well as caring for the environment. Not all the way. Uh, hi, I'm Nick. I'm out here with the Grill Alternatives and Fresno State's <laughs> new partnership with Grill Alternatives has helped me um, put to use my knowledge that I've um, studied in class to practical use. Um, they've been teaching me a lot of new stuff out here um, as far as electricity goes and uh, running uh, the solar panels and uh, knowing how to save energy. I'm Steve Moore, and then the reason why I got uh, involved in Grid Alternative is that I like the solar panels, and then I don't like to see the electricity bill very high, and so I wanted to find another alternative to find and make my electricity bill cheaper while having the same fun I'm having. And something that I learned today is that how uh, solar panels are installed, and I have a great experience here. Well, I heard about the organization and it seemed like a good way to gain some experience and also to help out someone in need. Alternatives has been teaching me about solar panels and it's a great experience. 
uh, it's a really hands-on job, so you you know what you're doing and how solar how you to install solar, solar panels. for the State Construction Management Program.